All right, I need to correct an error that I taught way back in November of 2013. Um, as you can see from the title of this video, the Catholic Church teaches that Mary is now Lucifer. Okay, now I was rather confused by that back in these years, and I saw this thing of the Easter Mass where they invoke Mary, or they invoke Lucifer, and they say, Christos Filios Tus, which is Christ is your son. And I said, well, this, they must be talking about the Antichrist. Because uh, I was thinking, Satan, he has a son. It must be the Antichrist that they're you know, invoking or whatever else. Uh, no, actually, they're saying now that Mary is Lucifer. Now, if you're a Roman Catholic, um, you should find a little bit of a problem with that, that Mary would be giving a title for Satan, you know, one of Satan's names from Isaiah chapter 14, verse 12. That's a little creepy, okay? But uh, let's let's watch, especially because Isaiah 14, 12 says that, you know, Lucifer goes to hell, you know? If that's Mary, kind of an issue. But let's, let's watch this. I'll just play this and show it to you, and then I'll show you an actual Catholic saying that it's Mary is now Lucifer. Let's watch this. Here's the video of it, and you're going to see something very interesting. If you turn to Isaiah chapter 14, verse 12, in your King James Bible, you will notice that one of the names of Satan is Lucifer. He was the he appears as an angel of light, Second Corinthians chapter eleven. Lucifer is invoked at the Easter Mass. Here it is, watch this. At noctis uius caligine in destruendam, in deficiens perseveret. Et in odorem suavitatis acceptus, supernis luminaribus misceatur. Flamas eius, Lucifer matutinus inveniat. Ille in quan Lucifer quinescito casum, Christus filius tuus, 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 qui regressus ab ingenis, cum ar generi serenus illus, et ecum vivit et regia, in secula secula. There you go. You say, well, Brian, that was just once. Okay. Let's watch the Easter 2013 Mass. Luminaribus Christus filius tuus, qui regressus ab inferis, humano generis serenus iluxit, et tecum vivit et regnat in secula seculorum. Two years in a row, two years in a row they invoke Lucifer and say that he is the father of Christ. Hmm. 
So I made a mistake there. They didn't say that he's the father of Christ. But I'm just assuming that Lucifer means Satan, so therefore he'd be the father. It says Christos Filius too, it's Christ is your son. So I made a mistake. Okay, I didn't understand who Lucifer is to the Roman Catholic Church. Play a little bit more. Christ is your son, Lucifer. Well, that's actually true. But not Jesus Christ. The Antichrist is the son of Lucifer. Okay, so that's what I said. Again, through ignorance, I thought that they were talking about Satan. But the very interesting part is they are actually talking about Mary. Let me show you the proof of this. Watch this uh, effeminate guy here, priest. Hi, my name's Father Mike Schmitz, and this is Ascension Presents. So a couple weeks or months or la last year, I sent out a message saying that if you had any questions, you could write in the comments section a little hashtag ask F-R-M-I-K-E, Ask Father Mike, hashtag Ask Father Mike. And so we got a bunch of questions, so I'm going to try to rip through a couple of those right now. So let's launch into them. The first question is from Skizzy S, or Skeezy S. I'm thinking it's Skizzy S, not, not Skeezy. Because the question is this, if Lucifer is the light bearer, since he's fallen, who is the new light bearer? That is a fantastic question, Skizzy S. Um, number one, Scripture doesn't specifically say if there is a replacement for Lucifer. Number two, but who, you know, why let that stop you? Because see, as Catholics, uh, you don't really care what the scriptures say. The scriptures are uh, secondary to divine tradition. So you just make it up as you go. Light bearer wasn't necessarily Lucifer's job. Like, he, like someone needs to bear the light. That probably wasn't his job. It was most his name that meant to refer to or reveal that he was um, the closest angel, closest created spiritual being to the Lord. And that's an interesting thing, that, that point about, so here's, here's Lucifer, his, his role, or he was the highest of God's created spiritual beings. Now, that's important for a couple reasons. One is because um, sometimes we think that it's like Lucifer versus Jesus, and they're going head-to-head, -head, mano a mano kind of a thing. That's, that, that's not necessarily the case, because why? Because Jesus is the uncreated, um, only begotten, eternal God himself. Lucifer even though he's the highest of God's created spiritual beings, he's still a created being. So it's not Jesus versus Lucifer as if they're equals or opposites or enemies. So he's saying, well, then who is Lucifer's opposite? That's a good question. Well, thank you, Father Mike. Well, Skeezy, you brought it up, so here's the thing. If Lucifer is the highest of God's created spiritual beings and he fell through disobedience and pride, let's follow the story. As the Bible unfolds the story, what we see is who is... God's highest created spiritual and material beings? Well, Mary. She's the highest of God's created material and spiritual beings. And what happens? Lucifer fell because of what? Uh, chapter and verse on that. Are you kidding me? But because of pride and because of disobedience. Mary is exalted, assumed into heaven because of what? Because of humility and obedience. Uh, the assumption of Mary wasn't even uh, a doctrine taught by the Catholic Church until the 20th, middle of the 20th century, right before Vatican II. And the Immaculate Conception wasn't until the later part of the 19th century. Um, don't you think that people in the first century would have realized that Mary was sinless and they would have seen her ascend into heaven? And you look at a lot of the old Catholic paintings and things, they actually had paintings of Mary being buried centuries ago people that were closer to the events of the New Testament and they're picturing Mary being buried not being ascended up to heaven because she was immaculately, immaculately conceived but Mary has now taken the place of Lucifer Satan if there's any kind of like opposite to Lucifer now it's not Jesus because Jesus is God he is the, the God right Lucifer, the highest of God's created spiritual beings who fell through pride and disobedience, is in a certain sense replaced, maybe in a certain sense, by Mary, who's God's highest created spiritual material being who is exalted by God himself because of her humility and obedience. Great question, though. Next question is this. Yeah, uh, he talks like he's a teenage girl or something. I mean, maybe he is in his mind. But so, so Mary now assumes the title of Lucifer. That's why they're invoking 
Lucifer, Christos Filius Tus. Christ is your son, Lucifer. Now, that, now, if you're a Catholic, shouldn't that kind of creep you out a little bit? That Mary, that the, I mean, it's not even just, well, he's some dorky priest that's got a YouTube. We don't really believe that or whatever else. Um, then why is it being sung at the Vatican itself for Easter Mass, one of the highest Masses of the year? Why? If it's just some kooky little priest on YouTube that says this, and the, the church really doesn't teach that, what's it doing then being sung at the Vatican that way? They are invoking Mary as Lucifer. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Slight problem there. And then he goes on to talk about the Trinity, which we're not going to get into, but the Trinity is pagan, totally wicked, and whatever else. But just crazy. So uh, if you're a Catholic, you need to come out of that whole thing. Watch my studies on uh, the fact that Mary was a sinner. Um, she was a great woman, wonderful woman, but she was not somehow immaculately conceived. She was not, there was no assumption of Mary. She wasn't taken bodily up into heaven. She was not sin, sinlessly perfect like Jesus Christ was. She's not up there in heaven as some kind of a goddess or something like that. Nonsense. Absolute total nonsense. Uh, you need to get saved. You need to get out of the Catholic Church. Um, please take my advice on that.